Welcome back, Devils fans, and it is a glorious day. I'm not going to say the boys are back just yet, but I think we are well on our way. Saturday night at the Rock, Hockey Fights Cancer Night, the return of Captain Nico Hishier. The building was buzzing, and the boys came out, and they came out early. The fans in attendance were treated to some of what we expected to see more consistently throughout the year, and that is a complete dominant performance by our New Jersey Devils. So I'm going to just go over the scoring real quick. A uh, minute and a half into the game, Holtz right in front. He finds that nice little area and just completely crushes one right into the net. <clears throat> one nothing lead. Beautiful goal by Holtz. He's really stepped up this season. I think he was one of those guys that everyone was looking to, maybe not quite a make or break season, but it was kind of like put up or shut up time for Holtz. And I think he's doing a fantastic job. And I think he's uh, going to be a key piece for this team for quite a while. I've always been rooting for Holtz. Glad he made the roster out of training camp, and, and he's done a great job thus far. And then later on in the period, Fitzy's latest heist in a series of them, Tyler Toffoli. There's not much more uh, I could say about Tyler Toffoli, honestly. I absolutely love Toffoli. I think he's been fitting in perfectly here. He's been producing at a high rate for us, and he's one of those guys that you could just tell he's just a straight-up hockey player. Reminds me of the old-school guys, cares about winning. You could see it in his demeanor. Uh, he takes accountability and doesn't shy away after that uh, bad performance against Detroit. He straight-up said, you know, I gave the puck away twice, and those are goals on me. Um, not too many guys will kind of stand in the fire when the media, after a bad game, is asking what I find to be pretty stupid questions a lot of the times. But they have to stand there like pros and kind of take the flames from these people writing articles and such. And so to Tyler Toffoli has quickly become one of my favorite players on the roster. And I hope we find a way to keep him with our core of young guys for the next few years at least. I think he's been a great addition and I think he fits him perfectly. Would love to see him here. And then a little bit later in the period, welcome back, Cap. Nico Heischer finds the back of the net for his third of the season, giving the Devils a 3-0 lead. Not the prettiest of goals, but got to be in the right place at the right time. Nico's there. There was a long review. I'm not sure. I was at the game, so I don't know what they were reviewing, if they thought it was a kick or something. But after a somewhat lengthy review, the goal stands. Captain Nico Heischer scores in the first period of his return after missing 11 games due to injury against the an injury suffered, I should say, against these exact Buffalo Sabres. More on that in a little bit. And then Palat. Palat's kind of had a slow, uh, slow season thus far as as far as production goes, but I do think he's one of those veteran guys that does, you know, mold and um, kind of guide the kids on this team. Uh, a lot of people complain about his cap hit. It is what it is. It might not be the most team friendly contract um, for the Devils or for the NHL in general. But I, I've always been a big Palat fan, and, um, you know, hopefully he picks it up, and when we get into the playoffs, he scores more when it matters. So, after after one, four nothing New Jersey Devils. And at this point, I'm, I'm texting my buddy saying, I want to win this game 10 nothing. I, I want a complete statement game from this group. Absolutely um, amazing game to be at. And then late in that first period, Brendan Smith kind of gets, after we have such a big lead, it's a little bit easier to do this, kind of goes after Connor Clifton, the guy that, you know, hit Nico with that cheap hit a few weeks back that caused him to lose all those games. Um, he was suspended for two games. But uh, Brendan Smith stepping up, and again, Brendan Smith has been a guy that a lot of people have been trashing um, throughout the year so far. And you know, I'm not going to bash the guy. He hadn't had the greatest start, and I think he does take a lot of bad penalties and blah, 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 but we're trying this new experiment with him uh, uh, as a fourth-line winger, and honestly, this team, as I have said in previous videos and countless times, is that this team is very, very soft and in desperate need of some tenacity and grit, and late in the first period with the game pretty much out of reach for the Sabres, uh, Brendan Smith gets his. He kind of, they have a little exchange, and Smith kind of pummels them. They drop the gloves and the funny part is um you know smith definitely won the exchange and sent the message that he was looking to but uh i was texting some of my friends it was funny that even in that moment where it was like the first sign of devil's uh 
fight or whatever you want to call it. And they didn't even get five minute majors for fighting. They got two for roughing, which I thought was pretty funny. But great to see uh, Brendan Smith kind of take him to task and, and let him know that we're not going to sit around anymore while people are smashing uh, our superstar players. It's just It just can't happen, and we're not going to stand for it. And then, you know, the game goes on. Toffoli scores another one in the second period. And then in the third period, Dawson, Mercer, and Luke score. Uh, game ends 7-2. I will say that, once again, I think we won despite goaltending. I don't think Vitek played a terrible game, but I don't think he played a great game. I mean, he didn't face many shots at all. I think he faced, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, he faced 12 shots total. So do the math. You know, the numbers don't lie. Giving up two goals on 12 shots statistically is pretty atrocious. Um, and I think, again, but, you know, we've won a lot of games despite uh, average to below average goaltending in a lot of these outings because we are a team of uh, a team capable of scoring a lot of goals in any given game with the, the amount of talent that we do have up front. But I do think that for us to continue on and make a deep run, uh, the goaltending is going to have to be addressed. I just can't see us continuing on in this path. And it's also of note that I find pretty interesting is that for whatever reason, when Akira Schmid starts games, we just don't give him goal support. You know, he had, he had a pretty good outing um, a few games back there. And, you know, we, we just can't score for him. He gave up two goals, one of them on that terrible breakaway pass that was allowed from deep in their own end. And, uh, you know, against Columbus, that's, uh, you know, passes and breakdowns that can't happen. But, you know, we were the victim of one there, and, and he deserved more in that game. He played a pretty a pretty solid game for us didn't get the win because we don't score goals when he starts. And I'm not really sure why that is, but it, it is a very weird coincidence that over the span of, you know, the seasons were almost a quarter of the way through the season um, that for whatever reason, when he starts, we just can't score goals for the guy. And so hopefully he gets a shot. I, I made another video a couple weeks back that I don't think he's been given a fair shake to kind of get in the groove and get a nice six out of eight starts or eight out of 10, something like that. He's just been kind of uh, been thrown a bone for one of the two back-to-back -back games or a random start here and there, but he's never really had a chance to play with regularity and kind of get in that groove. And I think that at some point very soon, we should kind of really give him that chance to assess where he is to see if he could be the guy going forward or if we do need to bring someone else in from the outside um, because I just do not see that. VTEC is a liable option for us if we want to win a championship, which we do. And so time will tell. But hopefully um, you guys enjoyed the game. You guys had a good Thanksgiving. I ate entirely too much, drank entirely too much. And, uh, yeah, Saturday night at the Rock, hockey fights cancer. The boys, boys do a big, big win. Hopefully we carry the momentum into Tuesday night and we can get another win against the Islanders. We really need to string together some wins here to get back in the playoff picture. Obviously, it's super early in the season, but you do not want to be living in the the basement of the standings and have to play catch up late in the year. That's a it's a terrible position to be in. And hopefully, you know, we could put together a little four out of five game wins or win six out of eight, seven out of ten, something like that to kind of get us back in the mix.